We're actually gonna talk about this idea that good leaders ask great questions. So if it's okay with you guys, I would love to ask you a few questions, okay? Let's just start with this. Is low-hanging fruit good or bad? Bad, bad. Chessie Rose? Um, the ants can eat it. Okay, so if you're in a meeting and someone says, oh, that's a great idea, that's actually low-hanging fruit, we should go after that, what would you do? Um, I would say, like, no, because foxes could eat it. Like, half of it. Foxes? And then without you knowing, foxes could eat the half of the fruit. Can I ask a question about that? What does the fox actually say? Fantastic. Is it a good idea to store your documents in the cloud? No. No. Why not? It would be shredded by lightning, it would be soaked by um, rain, and tornadoes happen, and the wind would probably blow it away. Tornadoes happen now and then, probably get caught in the tornado. So your documents would be shredded if you were to put them in the cloud? If, if there's a tornado, um, your document would go away in the end, and the, lots of people that are outside would die a ton. That's amazing. That is so stupid. <laughs> My mom said that. not to say that. Yeah, I can understand why. <clears throat> this is a glass of water, but I have a question for you. Would you say that glass is half full or is it half empty? Joshua? Half full and half empty. It's not even half full or half empty because um, <coughs> if it was actually half full, it would actually be like... Okay, technicality, but okay. I agree with Finnegan. It's not half full or half empty. The line would be probably right here. Okay, I think we're arguing over technicality. I, I agree okay. with him. Okay, so you guys are all struggling with exactly how much water is in the cup. It's hard to know. Because, well, it's probably half everything, so. Half everything, that's interesting. Let's say you're in a meeting and your boss looks at you and says, hey, I really need you to land the plane. What does it sound like to land the plane? Well, it sounds like that you might just, when you land the plane, it doesn't really, it, it's like, you know, plane comes down, it like tries to go on the wheels and flat. Mm -hmm. and okay, Donovan, what do you think it uh, sounds I don't, like? I don't really think it's gonna be like a real plane. It's this figurative of speech and he'll probably be talking about that. And it's like, you really need to land the plane. You really need to probably like work harder. Okay. You need to turn in more documents. Okay, into the cloud. No. Keep them yourself. Now give them to your boss. Okay. If you were my executive assistant, what kind of uh, what kind of things would you do for me, Donovan? I would disobey you and I would fire myself. Okay. <laughs> you would fire yourself. Can you tell me more? I would fire myself because I don't like being assistants and slaves are already gone. Abraham Lincoln signed the Bill of Rights. Yes, he did. Why would you fire yourself? You get money. So why so would true. you even fire yourself? Yeah. I would just fire myself and I would find a new job, a better job, where I don't have to be an executive assist assistant. Who okay. wants to be bossed around all day? Chill. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you need to drink a cup of D right now. Oh, eat some pina right now. Eat for lunch, some pina? You're not, for lunch, you're not gonna eat any lunch. Go do more work. Okay. What is a landmine? A landmine is something that blows up. It's like a grenade. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. All because of a landmine. <laughs> Can you think of something that you do on a normal, regular basis that you think I should do? Get your documents out of the cloud. Me? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Would you hire someone named John Maxwell? It depends on his behavior. Yeah, right on. Because if if you didn't know what his behavior was, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't know if you would like him or not like him. 
because you you would m maybe he would send out a secret spy or capture you. Or... You think that's kind of the way he operates? Yep. I think what we've learned today is that good leaders do ask great questions. You guys are fantastic. Sometimes leaders do this. Yeah. Yeah, they go like, <laughs> this is what we do. Mm. Mm. That's cool.